we can't have that. So I put them up high and this is my go-to. So I made this roller for him. Um, I have a bunch of rollers, but I keep this one up here right now because um, we're dealing with a little bit of an ingrown toenail. Um, so every day at nap, I roll this on him and I want to have it on hand. So I keep it in his room rather than in our medicine cabinet downstairs. So this is Owie. It's for skin support. It's, um, helpful, you know, when there's, um, you know, inflammation of some kind in the skin from a fall, a bite, a bruise. So this has tea tree, lavender, and frankincense. Um, lavender and frankincense are really well known for the skin supporting properties, um, and then tea tree is going to support against, um, infection. So there's kid sense lines. So this is pre-diluted, um, safe for kids and babies. Um, and so it doesn't need to be diluted the way that you would dilute a roller with other oils. Um, it has a carrier oil in it. So these are great to put directly on, or you can also diffuse them, but sniffles is great for, um, the sniffles right? So rubbing on the chest or the bottoms of the feet because um, for kids, the feet is great since they can't really um, like play around too much with that part of the body. It kind of goes on. You can put the socks on and then you don't have to worry about it getting on their hands or anything. The feet also have the biggest pores, so it's going to absorb into the bloodstream. Uh-oh. What are you doing over there? Mischief? <laughs> Okay, so Tummy Jize is for tummy support. So we haven't had to use this one too much because we can't get up there, silly. You can't get up there. That's mischief. Um, luckily, Ronan has not had too much um, of that issue, but um, this does have the oils that are really going to support um, that struggle. So let me open this for a second. Okay, so you can see um, there's spearmint, peppermint, tangerine, anise, fennel, cardamom, and ginger. So um, if you're familiar with like Ayurvedic medicine or Chinese medicine, we know that a lot of those herbs are really good for tummy support, healthy digestion. Um, moving along to these, so cedarwood and lavender, these I pretty much dilute every night, um, or not dilute, I diffuse these pretty much every night, um, to help him sleep. Cedarwood is really, really incredible to help, um, uh, like relax and ground. It's a very grounding oil, um, comes from the tree, cedarwood and lavender, as we all know, is kind of like the Swiss army knife of oils that can be really supportive of sleep, relaxation, um, as I said before, it's great for the skin, but it's really good diffused with cedar when it's a great combo. Um, Copaiba I have up here because this one we've been using for teething a lot. Um, you guys can Google beta caraophylline. It's the constituent in Copaiba. This comes from a tree in South America and it's really incredible. Just Google the properties of that, but we use that one for teething. Um, Gentle Baby is a staple in our house. It has been since day one with Ronan. We love to diffuse this one. It's just a really beautiful blend of like really gentle, delicious smelling oils. So I'll roll this one. I have a roller, it's not up here because um, I've been diffusing this one recently, but I like to put this in a roller as well. You can roll this on the feet, the back of the neck before bed. And then Peace and Calming, same thing. Um, Peace and Calming is kind of like, we call this one the tantrum tamer. So whenever he's having a moment, I usually just open up the bottle. Um, you don't even have to put it on the child. This one is one of those where they can just breathe it in. Like you can either wear it yourself, um, roll it on your wrists or your neck, and then pick up the baby or the child and let them just get the benefits that way. Or even just holding the bottle a couple inches from their face, let them smell it. And usually just like that, we have um, a shift. So... Oh, all right. Well, let's go. Okay. So that's it.